Hey YouTube, I'm here this time with my two month update from my Finish 18 by 2018 challenge. If you guys have been following my challenge, you would know that I'm collaborating with Alexis. She is one of my favorite YouTubers and I always love seeing her pop up in my feed. She is doing the wax portion of finishing 18 wax items by 2018 and I'm on the Bath and Body Works side. So if you weren't familiar, I will link her channel down below. Don't forget to subscribe to her because she also does Bath and Body Works stuff. It's just that she happens to be doing wax for this portion of our uh, challenge. So like I said, no matter what, go subscribe to her. Her channel is awesome. And if you like my channel, then you'll like hers too. So I will go ahead and get started. Just like last month, this is not an empties review. You'll have to check out my actual November empties video for that. And unlike October, actually most of my empties this month are not from my challenge. So there's a whole lot of different stuff in my empties video. So make sure that you check out both of these. So here I'm just going to show you what I've used up and what I still have to go through. So the first thing that I used up is this beautiful day fine fragrance mist. You'll see that it's actually not completely used up. And the reason why not is because literally I can't. So the entire length of my using this, the sprayer has just not been working. And it just so happened, and this irks me to no end, it just so happens that right here, almost at the very end, it completely stopped working. So you guys know that with the twist tops for these fine fragrance mists, you can't actually twist them off, which kind of, <sighs> oh, Bath and Body Works. It, it annoys me, I can't stand it. So um, yeah, I can't twist it off to put this into another bottle. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to call quits on this. Um, and. It's very frustrating, but at least I was this far down and it wasn't like all the way up here or something. So I'm calling that a done. I'm also finished with this beautiful day ultra shade cream. As you can see, this is the older green packaging. I did not include this in my challenge because I wanted to necessarily just use it up and get it over with, but rather because as you can see, this is the older packaging and I only bought this this year. However, it was produced in 2015 and I really don't like to keep product around especially not ultra shade cream since they do go bad. So yeah, I started at the pretty much at the top at the beginning of the month and I'm completely done with that. I also used up my Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea Ultra Shade Cream. I had a little bit more used up out of this than I did the Beautiful Day, but to my surprise, I was actually able to finish this entire thing too. I also finished up all of my Aloe Ha Shea Butter yeah, shea butter hand cream. I'm generally not one for hand creams, which is why I put this in here. However, I enjoyed using it and yeah, so it's gone now. And also, I feel I feel like I finished like good stuff considering what was in my challenge for this month. I, to my surprise, also finished up my second of two mini EDTs in Waikiki Beach Coconut. So you'll notice that on some things I have the mark and on other things I don't. And if it doesn't have the mark, that means I started with it brand new at the beginning of the month. So at the beginning of the month, this was completely full and now it's all gone. And then I have two more things. The last two things in my challenge are what I'll be using up in December. I feel pretty good about this. So hopefully I don't jinx myself and then like completely drop the ball on it. and in whatever way that I could. But I just have two more items in December that I specifically saved for December. It is my set in Twisted Peppermint. As you can see, I started here on, let's see, that was November 1 that I started right here. And I made kind of like a marginal dent in it. So I'm a little bit more than a fourth of the way through. I will use this every once in a while just if I decide I want to smell like peppermint. But for the most part, this is specifically a December fragrance. So I feel pretty good about having already finished this much up and it's only December 1st today. So uh, yeah, like I said, not a whole lot of difference in one month, but I was also focusing specifically on Beautiful Day and also my Waikiki Beach Coconut. So this I'm still actually pretty happy about. So. This will be my December fragrance. I really can't imagine it'll take me all of December, but like I said, I don't want to jinx myself and then like somehow mess this up. So hopefully by or after Christmas, I'll be moving on to my January fragrance. So that's that. And also what I have actually not started yet is my body lotion in Twisted Peppermint. So like I said, there's not a mark on it because it's brand new. 
So, well, brand new, I haven't used it yet. The key notes here are cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla, buttercream, fresh balsam, and a hint of musk. Like I said, it's my December thing. Every single December I use these. And by the way, if you're not familiar, these are from 2016. So um, if you're in the US in stores right now, you won't be able to find this packaging. So maybe, maybe at the SAS, but right now you can't find this, at least not in this form. So like I said, I haven't even started on the lotion yet, but it's getting so hot here anymore because remember I'm in the Southern Hemisphere now, um, that to use up my creams when it's been so hot has just been work. I'm telling you, I just have not had a lot of motivation to put on a thick cream. So I'm glad I have this lotion now to uh, last me through December. So on December 31st, I will have my updates for these two products and that's it. So with that, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my actual empties video for the month of November because there's all kinds of good stuff in that that is not in this video. Don't forget also to check out Alexis's channel. And again, I'll link it down below. And finally, follow me on Instagram at yellowbrickexpat, same way it's spelled here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.